everybody, it's Will here. Hope everybody's doing well. And today, I just wanna make a quick video, a tribute video to my friend Lou Duggan and tell a little bit of a story about this Gibson Blues King guitar. This is a 2011 Gibson Blues King parlor. And as I say, it belonged to the, my friend, the late, great Lou Duggan, who was a musician from the Nova Scotia area. He played a lot of jazz and blues. And uh, I say late, great, because unfortunately Lou is no longer with us. But uh, I want to tell the, what I guess ultimately I, I would think is a very positive tale of this guitar and uh, the sort of love and care that went into the story of how I acquired it. So Lou was the original owner of this guitar, and for a bit of backstory, he also worked in the uh, the library world, which is where my both of my parents work in that field. And my mother and Lou were colleagues over the years, and Lou was aware that my mother's son, being me, was a musician, played guitar, and you know they would make casual conversation about it over the years. And my mother knew that Lou played. But that be was sort of all that happened. I never actually got to meet Lou or see him perform. And it was, it was actually about almost three years ago to the date that this is being filmed, which is February 26th of 2020. It was about three years ago that I was talking to my mother and she opened up an email on her phone from Lou. He was looking to sell some of his instruments. Now, the circumstance behind that was very, uh, just awful, frankly. He uh, was diagnosed with, I believe, some form of terminal brain cancer and he could no longer play. And he just wanted to make sure that the instruments that he did have, that he loved, went to good homes. And so it's not uncommon for people to contact me about instruments that they're looking to sell, whether I want to buy them or not. So I wasn't even sure in the email, mom just mentioned that Lou had a guitar he was looking to sell and was no more specific than that. So I read the email and Lou described this guitar, which again is the Blues King, little parlor. And he named a price and that was that. And so I talked to my mother and I said, you know, I'd love to have the guitar, but I don't really have a need for it. At the time I had a Martin acoustic as well. And I didn't really have the, the financial means to to jump at it, it was a you know a higher end purchase. Although he did cut us a very good deal, and my mother, you know, bless her, she decided to get the guitar and then go splits with me on it, which made it so that I could actually afford to have it. I think she sensed that Lou really wanted it to go to a good home, and so the deal was made. And it was on this day three years ago that the guitar was actually brought to the house. Now, by this point, Lou, unfortunately, could no longer play. And so it came even with just old strings on it. And I remember he was apologizing to my mother saying, oh, I didn't, I wasn't able to change the strings or clean it up any. But even when I picked it up and strummed it with, uh, in the state it was in, it was just, it was a very special instrument. And from that point on became my main acoustic guitar. And uh, Lou, he lived a little while longer. I actually managed to put out a video on the YouTube channel uh, sometime in 2017, shortly before he passed, just so that he could see the guitar in action. And you can see that video, uh, it's, I believe it's called A Tribute to Lou Duggan on there. And it's just me playing this guitar. But I just wanted to sort of tell this story um, and send a special thanks out to my mother for helping make this one part of the collection. I was never fortunate to meet Lou or again hear him perform, but I feel like when I play this guitar, that's my communica communication with Lou. And uh, like I said, it occurred to me that today was the day three years ago that I got the guitar. The video probably won't air until tomorrow, but I wanted to film it today because uh, this guitar is very important to me and the story behind it. So. Uh, thank you for taking the time to listen to this, and I'm just going to play a little bit out on the 2011 Gibson Blues King. It's all stock. Um, I did have a bone saddle and nut put on here by the Folklore Center. It's got an LR Bags pickup in it, 
uh, just a lovely guitar. Interestingly, I do think the back and the sides are a different wood than rosewood. I, I can't remember exactly, but um, I think the spec is a little different than a standard Gibson L00. But it's a lovely guitar. I have it tuned down one whole step. Thanks, Lou. Rest in peace, my friend.